All righty, folks, we're almost there to your questions, 40 minutes in. I appreciate your patience as I get through all these. Let's check out tight ends. Now, I'm not that into tight end points against just because it's such a hit or miss position. Um, but that being said, there were some teams that were just atrociously bad to tight ends, one of them being the Jets. So Dan Arnold, the Bears against Higby could be really interesting there. Browns against tight ends. Yeah, like he may want to start Travis Kelsey, I guess. <laughs> DraftKings smash play. Like I know he's expensive, but get him in there. Such a big edge. Falcons versus TEs. So, you know, you got Goddard and Ertz in that committee, but this is a week where that could work because they're just so bad. Jags against tighties, maybe that. That, what is it, Brevin Jordan guy? Like, maybe he's something. Buffalo Bills versus tight ends were horrible last year. So, Fry, Ebron, co-starters on the depth chart. Maybe maybe they could get something going. Um, the Bengals versus tight ends, very generous. Decent against wide receivers, but generous to tight ends. Tyler Conklin as a potential smash. Ooh, I could like that. Uh, Kansas City Chiefs versus tight ends. Generous. Hooper, eh. Panthers, so you got Tyler Cross. Some of my favorite sleepers, you know, Fryermuth, Conklin, um, Tyler Croft. Love these guys, and they, they get great matchups right out the gate, so I love that too. But as I said, I'm not going to put too much stock into these tight end rankings. Uh, we're up to 51 questions. Wow, you guys are fucking awesome. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be long-winded here. I'm just trying to get through all of these and then hit your questions. So, yeah, you, you're putting Kelsey in a tier by himself. Uh, I'm still Waller, no no matter the matchup, unless like the Ravens were weirdly incredible. Uh, they were middle of the pack. Uh, Lions were sneakily like actually decent against tight ends compared to letting up top three points against every other position. So it's still going to be a points bonanza there. Um, I love Andrews though this week. How are the Raiders against tight ends? They're a horrible secondary where they, yeah, they were okay against tight ends, but I think Andrew smashes Eagles for Kyle Pitts. Very good against tight ends. This is a good, like, tier to me. Logan T, how are the Chargers against tight ends? I feel like they were sneaky bad at 12, so not great. Uh, we mentioned Goddard getting a great matchup, but still a timeshare. I'll, I'll go after... Tunyon, the Saints were really bad against the Titans at one point, but I think they kind of tightened it up by the end. 14, so middle of the pack. I like Tunyon a lot, though. I think that – I'm not into Fant right off the bat. I do like Higby. Second most points to the position last year. I like that. Um, Gasecki. Pats against tight ends. How are the Pats? Pretty tough. Gasecki's one of the, the top targets there, but I think Janu could come right out for a big day. I, I've started to switch my tune on him. Henry's going to be active and, and active <laughs> while out there too, but I like that. Gronk could definitely smash against Dallas. They're, they're red against tight ends, though. I think the receivers are the ones that end up going nuts. How were the Dolphins against tight ends? Wow, pretty good. But again, that's that's tough to put too much stock in. You're just kind of hunting for a touchdown or bust at this point down here. So I like I think the Rams were that's like one of the ways you could attack them. Yeah, they're they're good against everything. But I do like Komet a little more than these rankings. I think Ebron is kind of like undervalued, just under the radar right now. Jared Cook, I do like uh even if the football team is good against them, as they is everybody. Uh, but I, I, as I said, I like Conklin. Oh, man, I like Conklin. I like Croft. Where's where's Mr. Croft? So you're not even on this list? Croft? Come on. There you are. Andrew Juan Johnson, if he's got tight end eligibility, he's a receiver in a lot of leagues, but I really like that kid. So let's add him in here. I'm going to add Fry as well. I think he has... Plenty of touchdown upside this week. Co-starter, he's going to get plenty of snaps. Get him in here. And I don't hate to par him. Uh, 
All righty. Yeah, Cook, I think, is a, a fair bet for a touchdown. But I really like Conklin. I really like Tyler Croft this week. I wonder what his price is on DraftKings. That could be a smash play right there. If I'm trying to save at tight end. Definitely a good week for streaming tight ends, in my opinion. I'm not into Ferks or playing like third string. No. Give me like Knox at a shot at a touchdown instead. I like Danny Arnold, though. Most points allowed, the Jets. Maybe he can sneak into this streaming radar. I think we're being a little harsh on Ertz. A lot of, a lot of targets coming his way. But Juwan, uh, I like Juwan. He's athletic. Very athletic. No interest in Troutman. Like Jack Doyle. You know, Kyle Rudolph was going to be the starter, but who really cares there? I don't care about Hurst. Kyle, this is the Kyle Pitts show. Get him off the rankings. Maybe OJ Howard catches one. You're just in like pure like catch a touchdown range here. So give me like Pat Fry. And that shakes up the tight ends. What is up, you fantasy wolf? Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, share your thoughts in the comments. Check out some more videos and join the newest Wolfpack by subscribing below. Ooh.